Yeah. So how are you guys? So, medyo may tulog naman ako pero naka-overtime pa ako kagabi hanggang 12. So, again, hindi pa rin ako tapos. So, mamaya gagawin ko pa siya. Though, magli-lecture tayo ngayon. Yan. So, hindi ko pa natatouch yung mga for checking ko kasi urgent yung ginagawa ko. But anyway, um, five, five pa lang. So, for those who are here right now, do you have any questions regarding the the first and second topic we've discussed wala mm-hmm. wala po ma'am oh thank you for that ibig sabihin medyo uh, or madali lang naman or naiintindihan naman yung lecture ano um uh, hmm Ayan, i ano ko pa to. So, sige, baka yung four din. I'll try discussing the four. Then, on Monday. On Monday. I'll provide the number four, the folder four later. So, yan. So, for this afternoon, ang i-discuss ko is yung BAB-3. So, here we have Um, two topics and that is creating dimensions for isometric objects and using multi-leader for isometric objects. So, we use multi-leader instead of the, um, the radius command or the radius dimension in isometric drawing kasi hindi niya madedetect yun. Um, provided na tama talaga yung um, dinro or tigplot yung isocircle. So, yan. Six. Six out of 34. Ah, ano na lang kayo? 33. <laughs> uh, may nag-drop na na ay actually may tinanggal pa ako 29 so dun sa 29 out of 35 29 na lang kayo uh, still it's a good number uh-huh. then also isasabay ko pala yung discussion like for um dun sa kailangan ng review for the layers and dimension styles. I'll discuss this uh, a little uh, later. So, walang problema, I think, dun sa katatapos pa lang ng BA007 kasi kasama ito dun sa discussion. So, uulitin ko lang review for my previous class and still or again review din ito dun sa mga bago kong students if you know this already it's okay so at least mapapractice lang yung pag um, create ng layers and you apply the layers in your components then you how to create dimension styles then apply it in your dimensions so yan Hmm. Seven. It's 104 already. So, sige. Start tayo 105. Uh, I'll, again, I'll up- upload the video after the class or after this video renders in the Google Drive and sa YouTube. Medyo slow ang aking monitor. So, yan, if you have um, suggestions on the topics I've shared, you can PM me, then try natin i-sing i- it sa ating class. 
though hindi hindi ko siya magagawan or magagawan ko ng PDF file pero later ko na siya ipopost. Uh, we only have five five folders or parang five online sessions talaga. Uh, may folder 05 tayo. Tapos yun na yung last. So, yung 4, uh, 04, ilalive ko later. Para kung natapos nyo na itong 3, you can proceed with 4 over the weekend. Tapos, discussion tayo ng uh, Monday. So, ang reminder lang, ang assessment natin is Friday next week. So, as much as possible, you practice on the isometric um, replication or drawing. Then, ano pa? Ta-da. And also, itong part na to, creating dimensions for isometric and, ah, hindi. Itong multi-leader, hindi. This one, yung step nito nando doon or kasali doon sa post assessment so you need to hindi naman master but you need to understand how how to create or how to modify the dimensions na para sa isometric drawing okay oh, 107 na start na ako sige na so again good afternoon class welcome to The fifth day, <laughs> fifth day of the our basic AutoCAD module to class. So sharing you the screen. Mas makita nyo may mga typo pa dyan, pero carry lang yan. So ito, our objective for this afternoon or one of our objective this afternoon is to learn the process on how to create dimensions and uh, dimensions for isometric objects and apply it to the given activities. Nominal hours. Chamber lang yun. Eight hours. So, going to the next slide or next page. Yan. So, here pala, makikita nyo dalawa. Oh, BAB-3.1 and BAB-3.2. Dash 3.2. So, first, yung 3.1 muna ang i-discuss natin. So, yan. Um, okay. So, if you create a di- or an isometric object and you apply normal dimensions, it won't um, parang hindi siya lalapat. So, ito. Hindi na dito ako gagawa but here sa loob or sa model area para mas uh, mas kitang-kita kasi for this one this is only the instruction uh, ipapakita ko na lang siya or nasa PDF file naman no so uh, mas maganda na malalaman natin habang ginagawa ko okay so first you need to create muna yung ating box. So, this is just a simple box with the dimension of 10 by 10 by 10. So, kay- kailangan pa ba? Kailangan ba natin itong... Okay. So, just to uh, replicate, no? So, naka-turn on na yung ISO draft. Naka-on ng ortho mode. Nagawa na ako nung 10 by 10 by 10. Then, then. So this is just um parang madalian madalian medyo mabagal ako so Again, depende sa inyong style kung paano niyo gawin itong box na to. So that's fine basta as long as na ma-create niyo itong object. So next one um kailangan gumawa muna tayo ng dimension style para doon natin ilalagay and mas madali kang maka-modify ng attributes. 
So, to create the dimension style, you go to Annotate tab. Then, here, under Dimensions group, you click the uh, down arrow or you can type the, um, the commanding style. Okay. So, here, um, meron na dito style name isometric. So, pinapagawa tayo ng isometric na uh, style name. Dahil meron na dyan, mag-error ako. So, uh, what you need to do, kung wala pa sa inyong dimension style, you need to click new. Tapos, start with the standard. Yung standard na a dimension style. So, again, um, I highly add our... Yung word na hinahanap ko. Um... Uh, I highly advise na huwag niyong i-modify yung default settings like the standard and annotative. You just have to um, use it as your base for or base settings kasi sa kanya na lang siya um, mamomodify. No? Kasi stand, uh, standard and annotative are the default setting in AutoCAD. So, pag minodify nyo na siya, hindi nyo na siya mababalik unless you create a new file again. So, babalik dun yung standard setting. So, here, oh, sige, um, I'll, I will not use the isometric style name but isometric 2 na lang kasi existing na siya. This is my, uh, this file is my parang uh, yung base ko ng aking module. So, dito, dito ako nag-create tapos pinipaste ko na lang. But anyway, so, I'll start with standard tapos new style name is ano na nga, isometric 2. Pero for you guys, just use isometric. So, afterwards, you click continue. So, madami kasi na akong existing na dimension style. <laughs> anyway, so yan. Um, for the setting or the attributes, uh, what we need here is itong primary units. Sige. Two decimal places na lang. Then, for the fit, huwag nyo na muna itong galawin. Text. For the text, you need to click or to select the aligned with dimension style. This is um, parang pang ready na dun sa uh, isometric part or pag isometric drawing or isometric dimension rather. So click OK or click this radio button then click OK. So nandiyan dyan na yung inyong uh, dimension style na ginawa. Then, click close. Mag-activate na siya doon. So, for this one kaya, uh, before I created the isometric 2 dimension style, what is activated is activity answer. So, that is a different dimension style. So, once I click close, yun na. Uh, so, activated na yung isometric 2. So, now that we created the dimension style we're going to use for our isometric drawing. We're going to add dimensions here na dun sa ating cube or isometric box. So what we need is not the linear but the align. So here sa aligned mo, naglalabas like this one. Kung gagayahin ko yung nandun sa uh, module, so, ang itsura niya, araw ka yan. So, do not worry kung medyo maliit. We're going to change this a little later. So, yan. Uh, now, we know that our text in the dimension is a little smaller. We're going to modify the uh, uh, dimension style again. Click modify. 
Uh, we're going to change the fit to, I think, five. Five muna. Tingnan natin. So, close. So, that's it. So, medyo hindi pa rin siya, um, hindi pa rin siya kasing uh, itsura nung nasa module because I modified um, uh, textile. So, hindi ko inactivate dun sa ating um, dimension style. But, but then again, what we need is the text tsaka yung value. So, yan. So, that's your dimension. And, ma'am, hindi pa naman siya okay, di ba? Kibang siya. So, don't you worry. We're going to modify that. Then, after we created this one, we're going to add text. Uh, we're going to create, create or add yung top side view, left side view, and right side view. So, I'm going to click multi-line text. Uh -huh. Let me just uh, deactivate the isograph para mas madali. Yan. Then, I'm going to type top side view. Okay. So, again, this is a little uh, small. <laughs> Not a little, but very small. So, what you need to do is just double-click on the multi-line text. You select, yung like sa, ano, sa, sa Word or any software, you select the text first before um, adjusting the scale or the size. Let me 5 or mas, masyadong malaki but let's try Malaki. <laughs> malaki talaga siya. So, masyadong malaki daw yung 5 na size. So, let's have 1. Yan. 1 is okay. Then, para hindi ka na gumawa ulit ng another multi-line text, you can copy. Work smarter. <laughs> so, copy here and here. So now, syempre, papalitan mo yung text sa loob. So this is left. And this is right side. That's it. So, big layout lang natin kung ano yung mga modify for later. So now, we're going to adjust this para um, sumang-ayon siya sa direction ng inyong um, linya. Yung text. Yung sa text mo na ang gagawin natin. No? So here, uh, ang nakalagay dyan, we need to rotate the text using uh, 30 degree or negative 30 degree angle. So let's try. So here, Mm, sige, hindi naka-ortho ah. Pero ang crosshair natin, naka-normal. So, the ISO draft is turned off here. Kaya, I'll rotate. The command is RO. Kahit hindi mo kunin yung... Nasa na? Uh, hindi na na-detect. Ayun. Uh, okay, kahit dito na lang. Papa, ikutin lang naman natin siya eh. So, if you click lang, hindi mo siya ma masasakto yung angle. So, what you need to do is type the angle na lang para sakto. 30, enter. Ayan. So, don't worry kasi medyo kibang pa rin siya. That's fine. I-align lang natin siya dun sa ating line. So, for this one, RO, again, click here. Tapos, I'll use negative 30. Kasi pababa siya. This one, for the right side, RO. Yan na. Then, I'll use positive 30. If you're OC, <laughs> pwede mo naman siyang i-move. 
do not rotate again ha. I-move mo lang para medyo uh, lapat siya doon. Move. Yan. Okay. So parang nung nag rotate tayo na 30 or negative 30 degrees, nilalapat mo lang siya dun sa um, location niya. Like for the top side, parang dun mo din sa taas nitong object mo. For the right side dito. Hindi, hindi pa rin siya nakatayo or nakalay flat. Pero nandudo na siya sa side na yun. Okay? So, next. Um... Uh, After we modified the rotation angle of the text, we move towards this one. Ito yung ating mga dimension. Ito kaya, kailangan mo siyang ilapat. Uh, or before, before I explain that. This one kasi, because you're using or you use the aligned dimension, ang fina-follow niya is the direction of your line. Parallel siya dun sa iyong ginawang linya. So, meaning, itong merong 150 degree na line or yung angle nitong line, parallel itong text na to dito. Okay? This one, walang problema because uh, naka-vertical line siya. Ito yung direction niya. This one also we, parallel siya here sa line na ito. Ay! Ay! Nasa na? Dito tayo. Okay, no? So, yan. Ang gagawin natin naman is we need this to be aligned here sa gilid nung um yung ating line. <laughs> This is your um, line na nilagyan mo ng dimension. However, yung kanto niya, ito, ito yung gagayahin natin. Ilalapat natin ito flat. So, ang process here is uh, you need to command dim edit. So, dim edit. Tapos, you have four options. So, home, new, rotate, oblique. So, we need to select oblique or O na lang. Or pwedeng click mo. Oblique. So, you need to select the dimension first. Enter. Then, enter obliquing angle. So, based dito sa ating command line. Tsaka dito sa my cursor. Enter oblique obliquing angle or press enter for none. Pag nag-press enter ka, hindi siya mag-change. So, as is lang siya. So, the obliquing angle is this one. Ito, yung angle nitong line na to. So, para makuha yan, you can calculate uh, kung ano yung ginamit mong angle here, 30, or uh, pwede ka pang mamali eh. So, you can use the line itself as your um, base points. So, yan. So, how do we use the, the, the points here? Siyempre, use the object snap. Click and click. Then, so, automatic, magpa-flat na siya. Okay? So, yan din. We're going to do that for this dimension and this dimension. So, again, dim edit. Or kung naka-dim edit ka naman before para hindi ka na mag-type uli, just pre press space bar. So, yan. It will uh, repeat the command, your previous command or yung katatapos na command lang. So, again, be careful na hindi undo yung last command na ginawa ninyo. Kasi pag nag-spacebar kayo, ma-undo yung ginawa nyo. So, here, again, I'll choose oblique. Select the dimension. Press enter or spacebar. Then, 
enter oblique angle. So, kung ang gagayahan kasi natin here is this uh, line again or this uh, angle. So, this is 30 degree. Ah. Try natin yung pag-enter ng angle. 30. Same thing will happen. So, just be careful kung natama yung gagamitin mong obliquing angle. So, kung hindi ka naman sure sa gagamitin mong angle, just use the endpoints of your reference line. So, yan. Nalapat na natin. Lapat na. For this one, this is dapat, I think, pababa ito, no? Pababa. Hindi. Pa... Ang, uh, ang gagayahan natin na line is this one, yung direction nitong line na to. So, again, uh, space bar, oblique, select the dimension, press enter, then I'll use this as my reference. Okay. So, yan. Naka-aligned na siya dun sa ating isometric location, I think. Pero, hindi pa rin siya okay. Because you can see na kibang yung inyong text. So, dapat lumapat siya, de ba? So, eto, mas madali na lang to. So, you just have to click inside. Here. Click. Or, mali, hindi click. Double click. Para ma-activate yung ano. Uh, you select. Oh, this one kasi, yung dimension mo here, calculated siya. So, kung pera, kung ilan yung measurement ng linya mo, yun ang ilalagay niya. Though, you can overwrite this. Like, if I type, I'll type just A. So, yan din. Pero hindi yan yung kailangan natin. So, for the dimension, you have, uh, feeling mo naka-highlight siya, ano? Hindi siya naka-highlight. So, select mo lang. Select all, control A. Then, you go to, or we go to the formatting group under text editor tab. So, ito, lalabas lang siya. Uh, this is, the text editor tab is a contextual tab na lalabas lang once you select something na may text. Okay? So, it will not prompt or it will not be shown here if you select a line. Okay? So, contextual tab. So, control A. Nandiyan dyan na yung text editor. We go to the formatting group. So, click the down arrow. What we need here is the oblique angle. So, yung oblique angle kanina, that's for the dimension, yung dimension line. The oblique angle here is for your text. So, similarly, you need to use a, a positive 30 degree or negative 30 degrees here. So, kailangan mo lang ma makita or ma-analyze yung direction ng text mo kung saan dapat siya papunta. Kung naka-layout siyang pa, pa, pa ganyan, ano ang rotation niya para lumapat dun sa um, the line or sa space. etong 10 na to, dapat humiga siya. So, let's try to see if positive 30. Okay. So, humiga na siya. So, tama na positive 30. It's because nakaganyan siya, papahigain mo siya, paparotatin mo siya ng 30. 30 degree. Ano? Again, select all formatting. The oblique angle is 30. Higa siya. Okay. So, for this, let's try to uh, do this. Select, control A, then format or formatting drop down. Let's try this 
as positive 30 degrees. Anong mangyayari? So here, uh, hindi mo mapapansin yung um, result because naka-highlight pa siya. You click somewhere else. So, hindi siya. ba? So, we use positive 30 for this angle. Kaya lang, nag-slant pa siya masyado. So, for this, we're going to use negative 30. Ayan na. So, tama na siya. So, there are times you need to use the positive angle and there are times na dapat negative value or negative angle yung gagamitin according to the direction of your text. So, yan. Okay, so we've done this part and this part. What do you think uh, is the angle we need to use here? Sige nga, guys. Any suggestion? Wala. So, ako na naman. So, let's try. Uh, negative. Try na lang. Tama. Negative 30. Pero kung ang um, orientation nitong um, dimension na to, I'll copy ha. Okay, go here. Then, ma-dim edit ako. Tapos, oblique. So, yan. If this is your orientation ng iyong dimension, ang kailangan mo dito, positive 30. This one. So, yan na. Sineshare ko lang ah, uh, yung positive or negative 30 degree depende rin sa kung paano nyo nilapat yung dimension ninyo. Okay? So, yan. This one, we've used negative 30 as our oblique angle. This one is positive 30. Okay? I'll delete this. So, that's for modifying the um angle or the orientation of the text in your dimension style or dimension. Now, we're going to do that as well dun sa ating text kasi pwede mo rin gamitin yon. So, for the top side or top side view, again, uh, we double click on the, the text. Then, dahil text siya, lalabas yung text editor contextual tab. Then, select all. So, pwede mo naman kung hindi ka nag-control A, just have to drag your cursor para ma-highlight yung word or yung text. Afterwards, we click the formatting group again. So, yung drop-down. Here, similarly with the text, uh, yung ginawa natin sa text ng dimension, ng dimension yun din. So, for this one, I think negative 30. Yan. So, itong top side natin, lumapat na siya dun sa top top view. ba? About this one. Ay, wait. So, this, this is also negative 30 kasi ang rotation niya negative pag, pag ganito. O, yan. Negative 30. Yeah. So, si left side view, lumapat naman dun sa isang side or sa left side ng ating cube. Diba? This one, for the right side, we're going to use a positive value. 
So, yan. Okay ba? At least, may nag-thumbs up. Ibig sabihin, nagdangog. Anyway. <laughs> um, this one is worth six points. Yan na. Sinasabi ko na dapat alam nyo to kasi uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Papagawa. Kasama ito dun sa gagawin nyo sa post-assessment. So, pwedeng ang mangyari, dinimension nyo na lang, inayos nyo, nag-dim edit kayo, but the text isn't uh, modified or mali yung pagkaka-oblique angle nyo. It's not counted. O, o kaya naman, okay yung text ninyo, hindi kayo nag-dim edit ng dimension. So, sala din yan. O, dapat ganito ang itsura ng inyong result. So, six points again. I think I recounted or nag-recount ako nung number of items for post-assessment. I think it's 21. So, out of 21, kung magagawa mo to, six points na kaagad. At least 70% kasi ang passing. So, let's let's try or let me just give you uh, the 70% of 21. So, 14. 14.7. So, I'll round that 15. 15 ang passing. Kung makuha mo to, anim, so, you only uh, only have to be correct nine times. Yan. Para pasado na passing, passing na tayo. Okay. So, that's for Creating dimension for isometric object. As dimension in text. Excuse me. Okay, so yan. So yan, no? Dali lang. Then, I will now proceed to using multi-leader for isometric object. Okay, so for, for the multi-leader, we need to... Um, Create na naman another um, setting or multi-leader style. Pero dito na lang natin. Yan. So, hindi ko nagagawin yung box. Ito na. Or I'll just move this. Ito, ganito lang naman yung gagawin kong sample. Eh. Then, um, I need to create isocircles para effect. I'll create reference lines. Then... Okay. So, para makagawa ka ng isocircle, you need to activate the iso, isoplanes. So, for this one, E, L, I, mid... This is radius 2, F5, E, L, I, the mid, diameter 10, F5 again, E, L, and I, tapos midpoint, radius is 3. So, ito yung gagawa natin ng um, multi-leader. Okay, bakit multi-leader yung gina gagamitin natin? Uh, so, to let you know, hindi niya madedetect using uh, radius ang isocircle. So, kahit ang ellipse, hindi mo naman siya magagawan. Because ang uh, isocircle or ang ellipse, ang provided niya is major and minor axis or length. Ito, may rotation siya kasi naka-isocircle. Kung, kung ano sana, kung plane ellipse lang siya, yung center um, ellipse, tapos may center ka lang, makukuha mo yung major or yung minor axis. Yun yung gagamitin mo as your reference. But 
for ISO circle, alang naman kunin mo from the center, mag-align ka dyan. From the center, tapos yung quadrant mo, kunin mo yung dimension niyan. Tapos, another one, center, papunta dito sa isang quadrant. Ini. ba? Diba? Kung alam mo naman, yung ginamit mong radius or diameter. So, i-indicate mo na lang yan. I-manual entry mo na lang siya uh, using multi-leader. So, here, we're going to create a multi-leader style just like yung sa isometric dimension style. So, by clicking or yan, clicking the, the arrow here dun sa leaders group. Yan. <laughs> So again, I also have different styles here, multi-leader styles. So as much as possible, gumagawa talaga ako ng ng separate styles para hindi ko nagagalaw yung standard and annotative. Okay. So for this sample, ang gaga or for you to try it, ang ang i-create niyo is isometric, isometric style but for me, imo-modify ko na lang to isometric to kasi activated yung ano eh, yung or nagamit ko na or nagamit ko si isometric uh, multi-leader style sa isang component ko. So even if I delete this, hindi hindi siya ma-delete because it's uh, parang my existing components under this style. So, hindi siya pwede. Ay, bakit ko kinancel? Okay, so, here, we need to create new. We're going to start with the standard, just like before, or just like the in the dimension style. Then, for the style name, isometric. How about, di ba? Isometric. Isometric. But lalagyan ko ng 2. Ayan. Continue. So, this dialog box or options uh, will prompt. So, we have leader format, leader structure, and content. So, under leader structure tab, ang kailangan natin here is um, nasa na ba to? Constraints. Sa constraints, we need three leader points. So, ito, dalawa lang. One, one, and two. What we need here, three. So, mamaya makikita nyo kung bakit. Then, we're going to indicate the first segment angle and the second segment angle. So, first, second. So, this one, this is 45. And the second, second, second segment, <laughs> bulol, 30. Okay? Then, we have to uncheck automatically include landing. So, dapat wala yan. So, ini, makikita nyo dun sa, at, sa preview na biglang nag-straight line. Unlike yung sa automatic landing. Hindi kasi natin kailangan yung automatic landing magiging uh, iba ang itsura niya if ilalapat natin sa isang isometric drawing. So, tatanggalin natin yung landing kasi gagamitin natin yung first and second segment angle to make it lapat. Then, uh, here, naka-indicate na pala, we have to use the scale 5. So, this is 5. But it's up to you kung ano. Um, kung medyo depende sa inyong ginagawang um, drawing or project. Siyempre, this may vary. Um, okay. Then, for the content tab, for the text option, ah, yan. Text option. Text angle is always right reading. So, mag- 
check nyo yan. Ang yung default text nyo, pag ganyan, uh, straight. Because this is, ah, uh, yung kanina, keep horizontal. But for always right reading, i-align nyo yan. So, right reading. What else? So, yan. Yan lang muna. For the leader format, the size and the break size, wala naman problema dyan. So, click OK. Then, click close. So, dun sa activated, lalabas na dyan si isometric 2. Then, okay. So, now, we're going to apply this dun sa ating mga ginawang isocircles. So, first, we need to create one here, yung diameter 10. So, I'll click the multi-leader. Okay, wala. Dapat turn off ang ano ah. Uh, I, I think kailangan naka-turn on si ortho mode. Let's try. Ay, hindi. Tanggalin ko muna. Para makita niya yung difference kung naka-turn on. So, multi-leader. Then, I will change or I will toggle the crosshair para lumapat siya. So, according dun sa gagawa natin ng uh, multi-leader. So, dapat pag ganyan. So, let's detect. Ito pala yung quadrant. Click. Tapos. So, makikita nyo. This, uh, hindi naka-on yung ortho. Pero, straight siya. Diba? Straight line. If you remember, we added the first or tama ba? Uh, the first segment. The first segment is 45 degree. So this one, eto yon. So hindi hindi mo na kailangan hindi mo na kailangan mag turn on ng ortho. So that's your first uh, segment angle. So I'll click here, click here, yan. Then the next one, the yun yung second segment angle. So it has 30. So 30, 30, 30. Again, hindi mo na kailangan mag on ng ortho. So for this one, dito tayo. Diba? Then we just have to enter 10. Yan. So ma'am, Hindi na naman lapat. Okay, relax your body parts. Ang nilapat muna natin is your multi-leader. So, again, dun sa text, you follow the same procedure dun sa nauna kanina. You just have to double-click, select the text, then apply the formatting, yung oblique angle. For this one, positive. Lapat na siya. Okay? So, uh, sabihin sa akin, ma'am, wala yung diameter. Again, relax your body parts. You can add the symbol for diameter. So, while the text for the multi-leader is activated, dapat yung blinking cursor mo na sa unahan nung 10, then you go to the insert group under the text editor. Click the symbol. Nandiyan dyan yung iba-ibang symbol na available. For now, we need the diameter. So, click diameter. Lalabas si diameter. Dyan. So, that's it. Hindi mapansin because I have a reference line here. So, I just have to delete. So, that's your uh, multi-leader for the radial dimension. Next, we're going to create the radius 2 and radius 3 here. So again, I'll toggle to this side. Then isometric. You can select here and anywhere here. Yan. Then R2. Yan naman lapat. Of course, apply yung ating oblique angle sa text. So, for this one, I think it's negative 30. Yeah. 
another one f5 f5 isometric or multi leader i'll create it here Yan. so radius three double click select uh 30. So that's how you create multi leaders. Yan. Now, uh, tip lang, tip. Going back to the, the for the dimension. Ito. I know this is time consuming. Yeah, kasi tinry ko din um, before I tried creating separate dimensions for separate objects or separate components. But if you do that, sabihin nating kahit mabilis, so ilang seconds ba yung or ilang steps yung kailangan mong gawin, di ba? First, you need to create the dimension. That's one yung align. Next, you need beam edit oblique. Okay. Next, you need to apply yung oblique angle sa text. That's three. Sabihin natin, it will take you five seconds to do that three steps. And you, you need to create or you need to apply it to 100 components or 100 uh, yes, 100 components. So, 5 seconds times 5 uh, times 100 is 500 seconds. So, 500 flat. Kasi yung calculator ko. 500 divided by 60. So, 60 is 1 minute. So, 8, eight minutes. Tama ba? 8 minutes ang consume mo. Tama ba yung analogy ko? 5 seconds ang isa. So, you have 100 components. So, magkakaroon ka ng 500 seconds. So, divided by 60 para ma minutes. So, 8 minutes. 8.3. Eh, paano kung medyo hiwa-hiwalay? So, daragdag yung seconds. Sabihin na lang natin 5, uh, 1 component, 1 minute. Kasi masyado ano naman ng 5 seconds. Ano? So, 1 minute times 100 I will calculate 1 minute tapos 100 components so 100 minutes divided by 60 kasi 1 hour so 1.6 hours e paano kung 1,000 so here pwede ka naman mag copy diba the command is copy pabaguhin mo lang naman this one halimbawa I have this line, but make sure na same yung ano, ito, hindi siya mag, uh, mag iiba ang angle niya. So, I have to turn on the ortho and toggle. So, yan. Ginawa ko yan. Imbis na uulitin ko itong step na to, I'll just have to copy this. Make sure that your uh, base point is tama. As here. Then, for this one, you just have to adjust the second point. Diba? Ito pala, 20.57. So, imbis na mag-spend time ka ng one, one whole minute in creating or doing the steps, just have to copy it. So, again, work smarter. Not work harder. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. And any questions so far? Again, wala na naman. Dali. Hello, guys. <laughs> ano 
ano bang pwede kong gamitin dito para mabuhayan kayo? Dali. Iba kasi ito yung mga song dito. Eh. So, yan. Uh, I hope na-gets nyo naman yung process, no? So, before I proceed discussing the activity, job sheet, and project sheet, I'll move forward with uh, ito, yung sinama ko, BAB-3.1, uh, ano. So, um, anyway, sino pa yung ano, yung uh, nandi dito sa room na, or sa Zoom room na nalimutan ko paano gumawa or mag-activate ng layers and dimension styles. Baka alam nyo naman na ito, hindi ko na kailangan discuss. Pero dahil walang sumasagot sa akin, hindi discuss ko pa rin. <laughs> Sariling decision ko na ni. Okay. So, yan. One of the parang important components in AutoCAD is you need to learn how to create and apply layers and create and apply dimension styles. So, for layers, it will segregate your components to, to groups. Yan. Let's say, ay, syempre, ang ano ko ang background ko civil so for floor plans you need to segregate components for walls for doors windows columns um, what else um, foundations ganyan so it won't hinder you or it won't uh, parang anong gusto sabihin Para hindi ka maguluhan, you can turn off, you can lock the layers para hindi mo ma-accidentally ma-delete or ma-trim ma ngaya, ma-modify, ma ma kumbaga. So, if you separate or segregate your components into layers, you can also uh, easily modify those layers when you want hindi ka na isa-isa mong i-select tapos isa-isa mong i i modify i know there's match prop yung parang painter but however uh, using match prop paano kung mamalikan ng na na copy or na paint <laughs> when you do the undo or do the undo command, it will undo the previous command, not the uh, not the one object you click lang. So, yan. So, here, to create layers, let me just check it. Uh, okay. Um, for new files, da ang dapat lang dyan is or dapat na layer na existing is zero layer. But sometimes you have def points. So, I have here for this file, meron kayong makikita na no layer. Dapat na-delete ko yan. However, hindi ko nakikita yung component. So, nag-select all naman ako, tapos tinanggal ko yung ibang mga uh, parts dito. Lahat to naka-zero layer na. However, hindi ko siya ma-delete dahil may hindi ako na nakikitang component. So, um, you can delete layers however, kung existing pa, kung gamit pa yung layer na i-delete mo, hindi siya ma-delete. Okay? So, yan. To create layers, you can type the command layer or you can click the layer properties here. For this one, you can add, you can delete, you can freeze layers, you can activate layers. 
um, the important thing here, or usually, uh, uh, depende dun sa magiging project ninyo. But for my class, all you need to modify is the name, kung maka-turn on or turn off kayo, the color and line type and line weight. So, for the name, syempre, you follow your uh, company's way of renaming or naming the layers. So, pwedeng first floor, chamber, chamber, or ako, nilagay ko lang. Uh, usually, tatlo or apat. So, dimension, hidden, center, tapos hatch. Depende. Then, uh, we have the color. So, yan din. Y- for the, uh, for the color, you have to follow, again, your company standards for your professors. Kung nagkaklase pa kayo, your professors, color coding, ganyan. Line type, depende naman din yan. Uh, dun, medyo matagal na ako na uh, nag manual drawing or manual drafting. So, meron bagang uh, ginagamit na dash or dash line, dash dot line, line dash dot, <laughs> line dash dash dot. So, nandi dito naman yan. Pwede nyo magamit. Uh, kung saan din siya ginagamit. Uh, for the line weight, again, you follow yung standard kung anong ginagawa ninyo. So, I think uh, when I was doing my plates in school before, alam ko ang pinaka makapal kong pen is one. So, hindi ko na ma-remember kung saan ko siya ginamit. Ah, wait lang. Okay. <laughs> Ay, sandali. Nawala yung aking... Ayan. So, hmm. So, we need... For this sample or for this activity, we need to create three dimensions or mali, three layers. So, for every layer, you only have to um, parang modify three attributes. So, this, is, this one is the color, this one is the um, line type, and for this one, this is the line weight, yung kapal. So, we have a uh, dimension layer, hidden line, center line. Again, what is activated right now is the zero layer. So, lahat ng uh, components or lahat ng drawing na magagawa ninyo will be under the zero layer. So, mamaya, after we create these three layers, i-apply na natin itong mga lines na to to that specific layer. So, yan. So, layer mo na. Then, taas natin. So, create new or alt and shortcut. So, I have here a uh, dimension. So, lahat mo na yan kikreate ko. Afterwards, saka ako nagmamodify. So, he then, ay, muli. He then line enter another one is center line so for the attributes of dimension we need this to have a red color then continuous line or continuous line type and default lang yung line weight next for the hidden line we need to have this green then the line type is hidden to then if ever no na hindi or wala dito yung line type na gusto ninyo you just have to click the load button so you just have to add whatever line type you need then sabi natin zigzag so here zigzag sample lang no Sa- Zigzag na lang yung center, uh, hidden line. Then, the line weight is 0.13. Yan. Okay. Next, center line. Wait. Hmm. 
Naririnig ba ako, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How about yung background music? Hindi? Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. Kasi parang hindi ko siya naririnig. But anyway, sige, going back. Center line. Tell me kung nag-stagger ako, ha? Ah. So, next one is magenta. Then... This one, center, center two. Then, the line weight is 0.2. Okay. So after modifying the layer, so we close this. So, we apply it to the line. So, this one, this is for dimension. So, kung inactivate mo siya ngayon, dimension, lahat ng component mo, under the dim dimension layer. Okay? So, pag change mo naman to, hidden line, so, lahat ng idodraw mo under hidden line na layer. So, same thing with center line. Yeah. Okay. So, kung paano, eh, paano kung naka zero layer ka or other layers Tapos, i-apply mo lang yung isang component. So, what you need to do is select that component. Dapat naka-turn on ang inyong quick properties. So, QP mode on. QP mode, enter, on. So, para yung quick properties niya. Uh, for the quick properties, nandiyan dyan na yung color by layer na yan. The layer. Okay. Then, the line type, makikita nyo dito. Ang color niya is by layer. Kung anong layer yung ginamitan niya. The layer here is zero. So, fina-follow niya yung color kang layer na kung saan siya ginawa. Kung saan siya kabali. Next, the line type is by layer also. But, you can modify this. So, ibig sabihin, pag halimbawa, Uh, ito, naka-layer 0 na dapat naka-continuous line lang siya. Pag change ko si line type niya here, layer 0 pa rin siya pero individual yung pag-change niya dito. So, if I turn our if I change the uh, naka-line, naka-0 layer ako, ano? So, yan. Itong ibang mga kasama niya, layer 0, layer 0, siya layer 0 pero minodify mo yung line type niya here. Pag binago ko here sa layer properties yung line type to a different one, let's say gas, para makita natin yung difference. Then, okay. So, once we close this, etong mga nagawa mong line, no? diba? lahat sila naka-zero naka layer. So, etong ibang lines mo, under zero layer, naka-gas. Diba? But, this one, because you modify this individually here sa properties, hindi siya nag-change. So, yan yung medyo iniiwasan natin. Pwede, pero paano kung kailangan mo lahat ng under that layer mag-change to this one? So, let's uh, change this back. Hmm, continuous. Okay. So, for this one, dapat naka uh, by layer. So, similarly, um, yung sa color, sa line weight, pwede mo siyang ma-change individually. However, kung mas maganda na naka-layer siya para isa-isa ang isahan na lang ang changes. Okay. Now, how do we change this to um, the dimension layer? Again, we select this component here sa layer sa layer, you click this, kapat may lumabas na drop down, doon ka pipili kung saan siya 
kung saan mo siya ilalagay. So, again, this is dimension. So, naka-dimension siya. Or, or, hindi naka-turn on yung quick properties. Hindi lumabas itong box na to. Ah, sige, tanggalin ko para hindi kayo nag imagine So, this one, paano ko siya ililipat without the quick properties here? You click the drop down here. Tapos, i-select mo yung dimension. Same thing lang. Pero mas madali kasi kung yaon si quick properties mo. Okay? Let's apply this, uh, the hidden line here and the center line here. Madalian. So, yan. This is hidden. And this one, this is center. Okay. So, that's your um, layers. So, you apply the layers accordingly para at least, um, parang pag nag-check din ako, lalo na dun sa pinapagamit ko na ng layers, lalo na pag um, madaming components, I'll turn off muna the dimension, lalo na pag-checking kasi ilalapat ko yung template ko or yung key to correction ko dun sa gawa ninyo. And most of the time, iba yung color or iniiba ko yung color ng kito correction ko para lumitaw siya. So, paano ko, um, paano ko masusure na, um, anong tawag dito? Paano ko masusure na gawa nyo talaga, um, gawa ko yung nakikita ko? So, or nakakasagabal. Uh, nakakapi din po pala ang layer. So, most of the time, kung gusto mo, isang beses ka lang mag-modify like this one. Ano? Uh, balik tayo. This one, I have a lot of layers existing. <laughs> Sorry for that. So, ito kasi, copy ako ng copy, paste ako ng paste sa hanggang sa lumabas na. As you can see, I have center, center line, dimension, dimension, hidden, hidden line. So, this is coming from a different file. So, once I pasted or I paste the component dito or sa other file, makukopya na siya. So, let's have a sample here. I think this one is center. Center plus hidden and ito. Uh, anong? Hindi ko nakikita ang layer. Ah, ito naka- um, Naka-individual to eh. Sandali. Uh, saan ko nakita? Hehe. <laughs> nakita nyo lang good yung answer. But anyway, sabi natin this one. Uh, dito, may component. So, I have vary siya ano madami. Um, alam ko na may center ako makakapi. Alam kong may hidden ako makakapi. So, I'll use control c copy then punta ako dito so tingnan center uh, center line dimension hidden line no layers def point zero now pag pinaste ko ito dito alabas na yon yun na oh so ang nakapi ko na layer is the center and hidden Ah, oh, because naka... Ah, oh. oh, wait, wait. Naka-hide yung dimension ko. So, madodoble kasi siya. Yan. Kaya, ang nakopya ko lang dito is the center and hidden. So, it's it's not daya naman. Para at least, uh, isang beses ka lang, uh, you have you need to have your master file or kasi sa intermediate ko din discuss yung pag-create ng template where you can tama ba? Sa, sa intermediate, diba? Uh, this is where you set your templates kung ano so pag nandudo na yung inyong mga default play, uh, default layers like Center line dimension and whatnot. 
also dimension style para hindi na kayo um, kopya ng kopya. So, for this one, this is applicable also for dimension styles. So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is under ortho dimension style. So, I'll um, copy a different part of this drawing. Copy. Then, uh, here, let's go to annotate. So, dito, ang existing is activity answer, babes, isometric, and isometric 2, including the annotative and standard, yung default. So, once I paste another part of a, uh, a drawing from a different file, lalabas na yan dyan. So, ano yun? Ortho. So, nandi dito na yung ortho mo. So, parang hindi siya daya. It's it's working smart. You know, uh, if you create from scratch kasi, it will take time. So, kung meron pa kayong mga uh, gustong gawin, consume yun. So, as much as possible, um, kailangan iaaw na kaagad or mabilisan. So, yan. So, that's for the layers. So, going to dimension styles. So, ito, yung kaninang ginawa ko or pinakita ko dun sa uh, paggawa ng dimension dito sa ating um, ISO, ISO drawing. Um, parang, i-reinforce ko lang. Again, this, kung alam nyo na to, or just review. Um, I highly advise you create different dimension styles for different um, parts of your drawing or parts of your project. Because if you have varying size of um, objects, it doesn't mean na dapat isa lang yung dimension style mo. Like for, uh, this, this is a sample na halimbawa, uh, varying yung sizes of your circles, of the circles here. Tapos, I added dimension. However, sa dito siya maray. Um, if you create one dimension style or you just have to um, ano ba? Uh, isometric. So wait. Uh, I think I'll use the babes here. Uh, as a sample, if I select all the dimension here, tapos I'll apply this, I'll apply the babes. Oh, yan. Again, the, very, very small pa rin siya, but I can modify this na para palakihan. Now, kung isa lang yung dimension style mo dito, Pag nilakihan mo siya, let's say 10. Pwede. So, this is carry. Ito, carry. Carry lang. Pero paano kung nilakihan mo pa? Say, oh. 15 na yan. Exaggerated scale. Okay. Let's say, ganito, isa lang yung dimension style na ginawa mo for the components. This style is um, parang swak lang dito sa laki ng iyong circuit. This style or this size is medyo malaki na dito sa circle na to. Mas lalong mas malaki naman ito, yung style para dito. So, kaya gagawa ka ng different dimension styles para i-apply mo siya depende dun sa ibibigay mong object. But for projects, dapat isa lang. Pero depende nga eh. Kasi halimbawa, um, your drawing or syempre yung floor plan mo, meron kang components dyan. Like, yung dimension ng uh, let's say uh, ano bang 
let's say, hiniwalay mo yung dimension na butas ng pang-aircon. Ang butas ng aircon, usually, old school pa, no? Yung binubutasan pa yung window type. Um, sabi natin, mahaba na ang one meter, di ba? One, one meter na butas by half meter. <laughs> okay. Pero ang ang length mo is 50 meters. Siyempre, pag nilapat mo yan dun sa sa floor plan, medyo dapat mas malaki yung measurement mo para magkasya siya dyan. Kung i-apply mo yung measurement mo dun sa I know, medyo confusing. Ganito na lang. Okay, sabihin natin. Okay. Ito yung lot area mo. Yung, yung, yung uh, dimension ng top view mo. Tapos, nandito lang yung aircon. Sabihin lang natin. Sample lang to, no? Oh, Then, again, pwede mo naman kasi ito. Okay, yan. in ko ngayon pareho. Or, eto nga ya, nilipat, oh, kinapit. Ito yung sa aircon, ano? So, in-apply ko yung isang dimension style. Uh -huh. For this one, this is okay. Kasi kasama siya nung iyong floor. Okay. But for, uh, sabihin natin, in-individual mo siya. Yung parang may sarili siyang explanation. Uh, detailed nga yan. Detailed. Uh, dimension of the butas of the aircon, of the window type aircon. Masyadong malaki. ba? Diba? So, if you modify this, yung scale nito to... If you modify the scale of this one, sabihin natin to 10 lang. Dito, okay. Pero, dun sa buong floor mo, hindi. ba? Diba? Lumiit na naman siya. So, ang dapat gawin dito, this one, this should have a separate uh, dimension or dimension style. Na para, kahit mag-modify ka dito, hindi maa-apektuhan yung buong uh, dimension mo ng floor or ng plan. ba? Diba? So, kaya, kaya, gumagawa tayo ng different dimension styles. So here, uh, the return po na, we'll create dim style 1, dim style 2, and dim style 3. This is for this uh, circles with these colors. So, yeah. Gawa, nasa na? Oh. So, new. So start with standard, dimension style 1, click continue. What you need to modify lang is the attribute, so the fit scale or fit, under fit, yung ating scale for dimension. This is 20. Precision, uh, nasa primary units yan. Precision, this is four decimal places. Click OK. Another one new. We're going to start with standard. Um, this one is to continue. Attributes, attributes, fit is 5, then primary units is 0, okay, another one, start with standard, the name is 3, continue, then for the fit, this is 10. And primary units, precision is two decimal places. Right. After clicking close, uh, similarly with 
how to apply layers. Pwede rin, pwede rin yun gawin sa dimension style. So this one, this is for red. We need to select this, the dimension. Here sa ating uh, uh, quick properties, in this na babes dimension style, you need to select one. Then, let's escape. This one, 23. This, ah, uh, 23. This is for dimension style 2. So, 2. But for green, ay, for green pala. For 3 pala yan. Yan. This one, this is for 2. Okay. So, at least, medyo uh, sang-ayon yung dimension nyo dun sa inyong object. Yan. Now, uh, also, uh, you need to apply dimensions in your drawings or replications. Hindi dahil uh, gusto nyo lang. You need that or for me, no? Kung ito lang yung papagaya ko. Oh, guys, please replicate this. How can you replicate without any information? So, alam mo lang circle, but you don't know the dimension of this circle. Where where would this be located? Saan ang center point? Ano ang distansya niya from the other components? So, that is why you need to apply um, dimensions. So, but you don't need to apply uh, dimensions that are not required. Okay? So, for this one, um, meron tayong linear, aligned, angular, arc length, radius, diameter, uh, jog, and ordinate. So, the arc length, I know yung sa mga nag-007, ginagamit ko to. This is just for uh, the ch checking purposes. Pero, if you want to replicate an object, hindi mo ibibigay yung arc length. Sabihin natin for this one. This curve has an arc length of 40.2124. Kung hindi ko ibibigay yung radius na 12, pwede ko siyang makuha pero using a different radius. Pwede naman mangyari na uh, kung mas malaki ang radius hanggang dito lang yan. Still, it will be an arc with a length of 40.2124. So, hin yung hindi kailangan or hindi mo kaila hindi mo magagamit in your replication, hindi mo ilalagay. So, for this one, um, there, uh, nag-start ako sa origin, however, pwede mo naman itong gawin sa ibang location. So, what you just have to know is kung paano mo ito gagawin. So, paano ko na nga ba ito ginawa, guys? <laughs> Dali. Sino ba yung galing sa 007 ko dito? <laughs> okay. Uh, ano ang mas maganda dimension? Uh, I'll use the two. Yung second dimension style. Okay. For this one, you can use the uh, linear. So, si linear, ang mini-measure niya is yung, siyempre, horizontal or vertical length ng inyong component. So, let's make sure, okay. For this one, naka-incline siya, hindi niya i-measure yung length nito, yung incline, but the horizontal or ver and vertical or, or vertical measurement. But, we don't need this because it's not um, exact. So, I-modify natin yung 2 because i yun yung gagamitin natin here. I'll use two decimal places as the precision. Close. So, yan. We don't need this kasi dapat yung sakto lang. So, I'll use uh, kung mapapansin. Ah, yun. Isa pa. So, for this one, dapat Dahil naka-dimension ka na, you need to apply it according to your layer. So, dapat naka-dimension layer siya. So, i-apply mo muna siya dyan. Or, 
dito sa annotate tab uh the layer you're using right now is the current one activated but you can set this as um the dimension layer once na meron na kayong dimension layer so every time you add dimension it will not use the current layer kasi minsan nalili- nalilingawan ninyo or nakakalimutan na ay ang naka-activate si center tapos ang ginagawa ko dimension to so para hindi na kayo bumalik uli select the dimensions then apply the the the, the layer you uh, go here dito sa dim layer override so i select na lang yung uh, dimension layer so, for this one for this one i can use radius or diameter uh, but then i'll use the linear here uh huh So, dahil <coughs> ang binasihan ko dito is the circle, I'll double click here. Tapos punta ko sa unahan, I'll add the diameter. So, this indicates na, oy, ang binasihan ko si diameter ha. Okay, next. So, yan. We can add the center or center mark here. Center mark should be under the center center or center line. That's fine. So when you add the center mark, this indicates that the center of this circle and this uh, arc is the same. Okay. So, pwede mong uh, pwede kang magcreate ng dalawang center mark, but then ma ma kung pareho lang naman siya mag-override or parang maglalapat na lang siya together. So, mas magandang araw gayan. Uh, how do you know? So, when you select the circle and the curve or the arc, the semicircle, you you will see one point here. Pag mali yung location ng center, dalawa yan. <laughs> Dalawang uh, grip points ang makikita nyo dyan. So, yan. Then, what I can do now is add yung radius nito. Next, uh, ito ay ibababa ko. Then, hmm. what else? Bear with me. This one, this is okay. Here. So, hindi ko na siya lalagyan ng another dimension here. Why? Because alam mong galing ka doon, 72. Then, from this point hanggang sa center nitong circle is 32. Another part, center dito, papunta doon sa edge nito, this is 32. You can calculate this. So, walang problema yan. So, hindi ko na yan ilalagay. Then, let me see. Ito pa. Okay. This one. Hmm. Pwede kayo itong gamitin. Pwede siya dito or pwede, pwede yung dito na lang. Next. Yan. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so guys, tatapusin ko lang itong isang sample na to. Tapos, uh, <laughs> I need to end the, the class na kasi may pamiting na naman ang, ang <laughs> head. Urgent na naman. So, for, anyway, madali na lang. So, as you can see here, uh, once I inspected this, hindi siya sakto. So, I will not use that length. Ang gagamitin ko, yeah, that's this one. So, this is the exact. So, 56 siya. Then, uh, I need the angle here. So, 102. This one, I can probably... Hindi ko na yung lalagyan ng dimension. 
Ay, dimension ng precision kasi sakto naman siya. Also, this one. This is 160. Okay naman. Anong kulang? Okay. So, the radius or the circles here. So, yan. This one is 12. Also, okay. I need uh, okay. This one. So, yan. Uh, you can uh, probably use a line here. End point. Tapos, diretsya mo lang doon. Sa center na yan. Then, you modify this under the center layer. So, meaning, uh, this layer indicates that the center of this individual circles or arcs, curves, are all in the same horizontal line. Okay? So, walang problema kung iba-iba yung mga radius nila. Ang, ang importante, same, naglalay, or, tama, naglalay yung kanilang mga center sa isang horizontal line. Okay? So, yan. Pwede nyo nang gamitin itong, uh, itong dimension na to to replicate this object. Medyo mababa. Ay, matapos baba. Ayan. So, dahil uh, is screenshot nyo or check nyo na lang later sa video. So, you can try and replicate this using this dimension. Or kung kayo itatry nyo na lagyan ng dimension, then you try to replicate. Kung halimbawa, hindi nyo ma-replicate because there's a dimension missing. So, yun yung i-add nyo sa kabila. And try it again. So, ang pinakamahirap para sa akin or pinaka-tedious work for me is applying applying uh, dimensions. Okay. So, yan. Uh, so, yun. Question, guys. Kasi I need to end our session, tinatawag na naman ako. <laughs> I need to report something. Anyway, so guys, ano po? Question mo na. Wala ba? Um, thank you for answering. <laughs> so, yan. Um, for the four, uh, sabihin ko lang, sa, sa BAB-4, apat lang na object, ay, apat, tatlong object lang siya. So, this one, ay, uh, isang activity, isang job, isang project sheet. So, you need to create a new file, save it accordingly, then, aside from Aside from creating the isometric drawing or the isometric representation, you need to create the orthographic view or orthographic views for the objects provided. So, ito, sa isang file, dapat may apat kang drawing. So, top, top side or top view, side, uh, left side view and the right side view. Plus the isometric. Lahat na yan may dimensions. So, nakalagay naman dyan, include, uh, annotations included. So, lalagyan nyo ng dimension. Uh, you apply dimensions, you apply layers. So, dahil ano na tayo. Um, yung hidden line, you apply that in lines or in components na hindi nakikita talaga kung naka-face sa'yo. So, ibig sabihin, pag may, uh, may uka siya sa loob, pero you need to indicate that, lalagyan mo lang dash line or hidden line. Yan. Of course, the center line is used para to indicate na 
oh, may center jan Ibig sabihin may curve or may part ng circle na nandiyan dyan sa, sa espasyo na yan. Okay? Uh, this one is activity sheet. This one is the job sheet. And this one is your project sheet. So, yan. So, tatlong object lang siya. Hindi ko minamadali ah. I've I pino provide ko lang to dun sa mga nakatapos na kagad para hindi naman sila tenga over the weekend. So yan. Uh by on uh, but on Monday I'll be giving the uh the fifth folder. Uh, ila live ko na yung fifth folder. And doon uh, kung dun sa iba ang binigay ko is uh, like this one. Sandali. Ito. Kung halimbawa ito, uh, tatlo, top, left, and right side, dun sa fifth folder, ang ibibigay ko lang, two views. You need to imagine uh, what's the third view and also imagine what it looks like isometrically. Yan, ha? Yan, it's a challenge, pero mas, I hope you enjoy the challenge. Uh, hindi, hindi naman siya pang, pang sakit ng ulo talaga. Okay? So, wala mo ng picture. <laughs> Ako ay third call. Third call na po. Um, so, yan po. Ah, uh, Nabawasan na ano, 13. So, 11, 11 lang ang nagstay. But anyway, um, I hope you learn something. Ano ko na ending spill ko? I, I hope you, you learn something. If not, i-share nyo na lang. <laughs> i-share nyo na. Uh, I, I hope you apply the learnings or the knowledge, you know, dun sa mga plates na binibigay ko. Uh, if you have questions, pwede, pwede naman. Medyo late lang ako magre-reply. So, I, I, I know I have an overtime today and tomorrow. Um, pero kakayanin. So, urgent. Russian ang aking ang client ngayon. Russian. <laughs> so, yan po. Um, again, thank you so much for attending. I, uh, I hope uh, masaya kayo. <laughs> So yan, I'll see you on Monday. I'll be providing a, a, a reminder para sa inyo. Then, yan. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. Kam sa amida. Blah, blah. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Bye-bye. I'll be sending the link and the video file later. So, yan po. Bye-bye. Attendance ha. Mag-attendance. Bye. I'll stop the share. I'll stop the link. Bye-bye. Hunter. Sino yung ano? Hunter, Hunter dyan. <laughs> Arvo. ArvoPH.com. <laughs> Bye-bye.